come together. It is classic and modern at the same time. It's bright, fresh. It's just so beautiful. We've been working with Steve Teak throughout the process and this collaboration might just be one of my very favorites yet. This has been one of my favorite projects to work on. Um, it's a beautiful home. I can't wait for it to be finished. I feel like it really relates to my personal style. I handle everything that involves um, the hard finishes in the home. So tile, wood floors, cabinets, paint on the walls, uh, trim styles, ceiling details. We started by pushing out the basement, which allowed us to push out the main floor, and then we built into over the garage, and we stripped everything down to the studs. We changed everything down to the electrical plates, the outlets, everything. Everything was replaced in this house. Very bright and airy, and I can't wait to see the finished product. We're actually getting ready for a meeting right now um, with our clients. We meet once a week and talk about progress, things that need to happen, things that need to change. You can see there's a lot going on right here. It's like crunch time. Um, and we decided that we wanted to stick with the traditional cut fold, but do something um, a little bit different than what you normally see. So this one has like these angled edges here. These are for rejuvenation. Um, we love them as a hardware source. This room, it really stayed, for the most part, the shape stayed the same, but there used to be this header beam that ran across here and it cut the room off. So we moved the truss up into the ceiling, so then you get this extra space for furniture. Typically, you want a room to feel taller than it actually is, but in this room, we actually wanted it to feel a little shorter because it's so tall and skinny. So we did this coffered ceiling here, and as you can see, we have this light fixture without bulbs. We measured, looks good on the space plan, but it's feeling a little small to us, so we rushed a different light. It's coming really soon, and then we're gonna swap them out. Enough for one wall, but one wall wasn't enough, so we took it everywhere. Ceiling, walls, everything. It's fine. Um, and then we're doing a natural wood I, beam I just across the ceiling to tie in with some of the natural wood elements everywhere. Steve Teak, he's the builder on the project. Hi, Steve. How you doing? <laughs> so we're just getting the paint wrapped up. Big site visit today. Um, about a couple weeks away from finishing up the project. Uh -huh. So you got the furniture ready? We got the furniture ready. It looks like a mess now, but it's, yeah. it's final stretch. It's final stretch. Well, a lot of stuff's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. I mean, this whole kitchen is incredible. You're not even seeing the hood right now, which is this custom hood that we're having made. You get two full double ovens, the farmhouse sink, the awesome lights, but one of my favorite, favorite details in the kitchen is this faucet. It's from Waterworks, so a little fancy, but I think it's totally worth the splurge because you can see that it actually has wood candles on it, and I just love little details like that. So today's install day. Uh, as you can see, it's really crazy. Um, we love to have an empty house that's like perfectly clean and ready to move in when it's install day, but it never happens. There's always workers. Currently, they're finishing the carpet upstairs, so we're trying to get everything in downstairs and get that situated so then tomorrow we can move all the furniture upstairs. Um, we've got a U-Haul filled with accessories and about 10 of our designers here, and then we've got two moving trucks that are about to pull up with all of the furniture. And then our client's pod is coming with some of their old furniture that we're going to be mixing in. So the home was really nice to begin with, um, but they wanted it to be their forever home. They don't plan on ever moving. 
So they gutted it from top to bottom. Oh my gosh, this poor family. They are gonna get a dream house at the end of this, but they've been through a lot, so. And they started with the basement, finished that, and once that was done, the family moved downstairs, which is kind of crazy, because they have four kids. The parents are sleeping in the guest room, and then their daughter's sleeping in the craft room, and then their two boys are sleeping in what's soon to be the gym, and then their baby's sleeping in like, like a closet laundry room. And it's really, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Um, but when it's all done, it's all gonna be worth it. It's just crazy, they're all packed into this two, two bedroom basement, um, and it's, it's been crazy and we need to get them upstairs. They asked for like modern farmhouse meets Hamptons. The most important thing was that it was bright, fresh, li livable for their family of four kids. This client, and I'm not just saying this because they're our client, like they're just really good people and they're not showy people. And one of the things that has been the biggest concern for them is although they have this super successful business, they didn't want their house to feel like this flashy over the top place. They just wanted it to feel like a really great home for their family. And to me that is like, that combination of things, nice people and good budget and not super indecisive is like, it's a dream combination. <laughs> Let's just say that all builds and remodels take longer than you expect them to. Today is install day three. So what is an install day? It is the day when the house the bones are finished and it's time to bring in all of the furniture and accessories. And typically it's not just a one day and it magically all comes together. We bring things in and sometimes we're still waiting for more pieces to come or we put it all together and we feel like we're missing a couple of pillows or something feels a little too big or small and so we'll swap it out. And today we are installing the basement. It's really fun for the client because it's like this big surprise. They either haven't moved into the home yet and we're getting it all ready for them or they are in the home and they leave for the day and then they come back to this perfectly finished house. Okay, so install days can get a little crazy but they're super fun. So we kind of just like come in, there's probably like eight of us and you don't think it's gonna take that long, but it's pretty it's time consuming. It's always a long time. Yes. Even though we're working very hard for morning tonight. Yes. So very time consuming. And then you start unpacking stuff and kind of placing it into the rooms. And sometimes we have to switch stuff around because it doesn't, you know, like the side table that you thought would go here needs to be moved to another spot. Right. We have to stuff every single insert into the pillows. We've got girls ironing the bed sheets and right. putting, up, putting together bed frames and there will be movers in and out and... Trash everywhere. Trash everywhere. Yep. But it's always a good time and it's always worth it to see the end result and have the client come in and when we see the look on their faces, it's totally worth it. So install days are kind of stressful. The finished team has already come in and they've made it look beautiful with the paint and the cabinets and the tile, and now it's my day. Um, which is always a little nerve wracking because I've measured and remeasured all of the furniture, all of the rugs and artwork, but you still are just never sure how things are gonna go. There's always something that's gonna go wrong or a part that's gonna be missing and you kind of just have to go for it. So during install days, there's a lot of hustle and bustle. People are running around trying to get everything in and on this particular install, we had a few hiccups along the way. In particular, um, the rugs upstairs in the daughter's room and in the nursery. I measured in the space, I put them in the CAD plans and they seemed to work fine. And when we got the rugs into the space, the pile on the rug was too high. So when you swung open the door, the door would hit the rug and so they were too large for the space. So we had to go a size down and reorder new rugs for those areas.
the most of the time, I'm stuck in the office doing business meetings and phone calls. But every once in a while, I'll Just get out. Yeah, <laughs> making it happen. And I'll come and stop by the job site and see how things are going. Um, it's best if I don't come empty handed, so preferably to bring a large deck coat is always best. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's it going? It's great. We're cool. like trying to figure out a few little tiny last problems, little life lessons, details. Yeah. yeah. Nothing too big. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks great. Can you give me a Please. Do. Please subscribe. We're out. <laughs> <laughs>